service and I'm sure he'll be saying I'll be scoring goals. Um, but again... Already drawing comparisons with one of the all-time greats. We'll hear from the Bayern Munich this season. Big things are expected from one of the game's brightest prospects. And Klinsman in front of him. He's a great character, but it doesn't necessarily well, look like seen him. You see that, as, look, he's obviously, because he was like coming towards the end. Can he get past him? Can they break the press? Can Mida? Can he? That quickly. Yeah, but the thing is, Roy, you, you see with the way they went out the last time. Oh, there I said, the Germans, are they a little yeah. bit with this World Cup? They'll love. They, yeah. I think it's not going to be easy. Japan are going to be high pressing, high intensity, technical. Of recovery. As Thursday, can they be the latest unfancied? <laughs> On Monday, but the big decisions for Hansi Flick, the German coach, was over who would play as his nine today. Nicholas Fulcro, based in Germany, play from the off. Daichi Kamada was terrific in the Europa League semi-final. Schiller looked lively. Here come Germany trying to bump us, which was aimed back to Ilkay Gundogan, but wasn't able to complete it. This is Junior Ito. And his cross is blocked by Gundogan, it's out for the first corner. And it's a Jap Japanese corner. Yeah, you'll be, they'll be very dirty. Da they'll be on them immediately. Ito sprinting forward. Maida is at the far post. And Maida gets there. I think he's offside. He, and you know something? He doesn't need to go ahead of the ball. It's available to him. That's good football from Germany. Anything but, in fact. Sakai quick to dispossess David Ram. That's hers, he's Joshua Kimmich. Rudiger with a header. He just tickled the side netting. Yeah, he's a little bit annoyed with himself. Gundogan. Musiala. A great tackle and a good save. Comes back to Gundogan. Not a great shot. That's just great football all round, doesn't it? The flick from Gundogan's superb. The tackle's superb. Oh, dawdling from Zotterbeck. And it's been pinched. And Kubo disappointed that he couldn't centre the ball to Maida. It's poor. Looked in by Tanaka. And it came off the back of a German defender. Well, certainly that's the accusation. And now Kai Havertz. Not too many options in the centre. Nabri too high for him. Raoul setting it up for Ilkay Gundogan. Trying to curl one over by Gnabry. The now play to go on here despite the kills for offside. Gnabry has shifted it on. It's picked up by Gundogan. It's a simple save, really. For him, it's a poor strike. Excellent movement down the right-hand side. Here he is on the ball. Setting it up for Raoul. It's a decent-looking cross. It comes back to Gundogan. Blocked by Yoshida. That's a chance as well. Should probably have lifted it. In the number 10 position. And that's allowed Raoul to get round the back. And this is David Raoul. And was he brought down by the goalkeeper? The referee says, well, initially, no. And then changes his mark against Shuichi Gonda. It's good to win. It's 1-0 to Germany. And that will take a little bit of the pressure off. Hansi Flick breathes a huge sigh of relief. Hasn't been the perfect first half an hour at the World Cup for Germany. But Ilkay Gundogan has given them the lead. Eight years ago was the main goalkeeper. Sakai's on the overlap here. Ramp, not the greatest of punches. It wasn't the greatest of touches from Kimmich. Gnabry. Musiala um, won. And he can finish. We've seen that out and out. Since. Last four minutes. Ramp, Musiala. Muller setting it back, Kimmich. He overhit that. Yeah, it's a poor finish, but far better quality. Not of blue shirts in front of him. Gundogan's got a bit more room, but not much.